going on, everybody? Ultimate DJs here from UltimateDJsPlays.com and TalkingTrekSTFC.com with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, getting back to basics. Uh, we've had a lot of discussion over the new versions of the game, the PC version and the multiphasic store and all this. But I kind of wanted to come back to a feature that I feel like has been a little bit overlooked in a heritage platform. My first true love, ladies and gentlemen, and that is Bluestacks 5. I want to send them a special shout out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Let's hop right into the gameplay. And here we are. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to show uh, today in Bluestacks, and a lot of you guys are still using this platform, is the uh, the ability of this new uh, extended zoom. All right, so we're going to zoom out here, and uh, we can see we've actually got a lot more visibility than we used to have. It's still uh, well over half of the system. And if you guys will remember, you come into your settings, and you come into general and you scroll down here to the extended zoom, you can turn that on or off. Uh, again, I do think it's a little bit of a bug in the client that both of these are listed here. Only one of them actually works. I'm not going to take the time to figure it out. But uh, that said, even inside Bluestacks 5, which I recommend you guys go download, there is a sponsor link for Bluestacks 5, the, uh, the Bluestacks 5 client uh, in the video description below. But you can see giving us a lot of view. And if we turn on battle view here, uh, definitely a much better view of the system than what we've ever had in the past. So I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit so I can actually see uh, my names of my hostels and we can actually do a little bit of grinding here doing my dailies here in Kronos the capital city and uh, just taking the auger out and hitting some hostels but definitely taking advantage of the extended zoom and being able to see a lot more of the system and therefore being able to see a lot more of these hostels especially in a system like Kronos where it's important to be able to see the name of the hostel we can't just uh, whoops, can't just zoom out and click on red triangles like we can in a different system, for example, if we're just clicking all of them. We need to be able to see what we're actually hitting. So we're going to zoom in just enough to see these titles, and they, of course, pop very nicely, very large on the screen, and uh, we can see what we're actually doing there. I'm going to send a couple of ships here to attack. We've got our notification banner there, which uh, we have definitely missed, right? Uh, it's there letting us know that we've uh, defeated the hostile. But here inside Bluestacks 5, being able to uh, take advantage of one of the new features as a result of some of the troubleshooting and a result of some of the creativity of the new PC version. Going back to basics here in Bluestacks 5, we can see that the extended zoom is still uh, a very nice thing and having expanded visibility within the system. It's actually a really, really nice thing, uh, especially as we're kind of going through here <clears throat> and zooming to try to find the hostels that we want to hit. Now, in the example of a system where it doesn't matter what red we're hitting, we know that we're just going to indiscriminately hit reds. Like, for example, up here in Swarm Space. Let me get this ship repaired and sent back because it's a long warp. Yes, I'm using uh, using Leslie to try to kill heavies in Kronos because I got to kill 25 of these things. Uh, 29 or 25 of the hostels, anyway. And you guys know spawns are a little bit of an issue here. But we're going to send these down to help clear some of the heavies so that the auger can take out the lights. But over here in swarm space, when it doesn't really matter, right? doesn't really matter. I've got my ship there. I can zoom way in or I can zoom way, way out and actually be able to see a very, very nice uh, portion of the system here. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice giving out a little bit. But we're just going to click on swarm we got to kill a bunch of these swarm for swarm sunday and uh, a bunch of them as a part of our dailies i think like 25 is what it takes to get a daily done at least here at my level so uh being able to see all across the system and find out where the other hostels are that i want to try to get to find the most efficient path between uh each of them the extended zoom a nice thing and compatible within Blue Stacks 5. You can see here that I'm using my uh, my native resolution here on uh, Blue Stacks with my PC monitor, so it's a nice big full view, and uh, being able to see, gosh, pretty much the entire system if I'm zoomed fully out. Now, if I had to zoom in to see these names like I do in Chronos, it doesn't give me as much, but here in uh, extended zoom in uh, you know this swarm system, for example, I can see almost the entire system, which is really, really nice. I can imagine this being really, really good in the Borg system, trying to watch out for people coming and hunting you. That would be a bad thing, right? Because people do. People Sometimes people come and try to get that loot from you. So being able to have a better view and a wider view when you don't need to see the names of the hostels, really, really good in a place like Borg Space as well, so that we can see our surroundings, more of what's around us, and that way we don't uh, actually get targeted. 
but uh, nice thing. And again, just reminding you, uh, inside, if you turn off your battle view and go inside to your settings is where you can find the extended view. And, uh, and that's awesome. And actually, of course, you know, Bluestacks 5 has made some other improvements, not only to resource acquisition, but to just gameplay in general. You'll see that uh, the screen is moving nice and smooth. We're not having any problems jumping back and, uh, back and forth between different systems here as we're trying to find the hostiles that we're wanting to kill. And I uh, can just kind of keep bouncing back and forth here and not have any problems. So uh, I am still digging and still a fan of Bluestacks 5, despite all the improvements uh, that have been made to the native mobile client and the native PC version on Star Trek Fleet Command. Still a super awesome platform to play on PC. And of course, when we're talking about the new multi-phasic store inside Bluestacks, you've got a browser, right? Uh, we could we could show you that here. Let's uh, oop, let's see here. Yeah, if we click on the home button. We still have uh, the ability to get to a browser in here. Here it is right there, Chrome. So we can hit the Chrome button. We can come up here to uh, the link that I told you guys about earlier, store.startrekfleetcommand.com. And voila, here we are on the actual store site where we can log in via our Scopely ID and be able to make those purchases like we were talking about earlier, logging in and then being able to make purchases on the web store to get your multi-phasic credits, which would be a good thing, everybody. Oh, uh, wrong window. It'd be a, be a good thing. Here we go. So we're coming back in here. We'll go back out to full window and uh, continue hitting some hostels here. Golly, did I hit that many already? I feel like my auger is not holding up super well tonight. <laughs> Uh, it's these daggone, these daggone capital city traders, man. They they pack a punch. And I am using uh, Pike Moreau Chen, even though I haven't had a chance. I should have done it tonight. I didn't think about it, but I've got my Enterprise crew over here. But uh, I did promote my Beverly to Tier 4. And so I really would have, I should have thought ahead. I would have liked to have seen how that would have behaved here against these capital city traders. Of course, with Beverly being that it relies on defense, I would have had to have put her in this slot and then just put uh, you know put my enterprise over here with the Leslie crew that I'm trying to use. But as you can see, I got no light traders here. I got none. So I'm gonna have to use the enterprise and clear out a heavy and hope that a light trader will spawn. That's actually my method. That's my dailies every single day because my ROM reputation is high enough. Uh, as a matter of fact, here I'll show you. My ROM reputation is high and my ROM daily requires me to hit hostiles. See, I'm at 610 million here. Uh, getting closer, it's moving faster now at these levels, but my daily requires me to hit 25 of a level of hostile. I can't actually reach with my warp. Even with my jelly, I gotta get to level 47 or higher. I can't get there. <laughs> I don't have the warp range uh, with my jelly. And this is where my decision to uh, see, good. It spawned a, a light there. See, we just got to keep doing that. Rinse and repeat all day long. Um, I can't actually uh, get there. And that was one of the side effects of me not building a G4 ship, uh, not building a G4 Uncommon, rather, one of the level 42 ships, is I can't actually get the warp range needed to do my daily. So I've got to do them in a capital city. And of course, that's expensive and it takes time. I need 25 of these, and anybody who hits up here with any kind of regularity knows the spawn rate's just absolutely abysmal here. Scoply, fix it. Fix it, please. I'd really appreciate that. But uh, anyway, I guess while we're waiting for the Enterprise to return, we can come back up here and hit a few more swarm and uh, try to get uh, that finished. I'm taping this on Sunday, so I still have much swarm Sunday to do. I've done a couple of runs. I think I still need like another run or two uh, let's see. Oop, passed it up. Where was it? Here it is. Uh, threat from beyond. So I got 60. Oh, ow, I'm actually farther along than I thought. I only need 13 more. So, uh, yeah, actually doing this run right here should satisfy my daily and wrap up Swarm Sunday for me. So that would be nice. Let's see if any lights have spawned back here. I will notice as I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between systems, I'm not getting any purple tiles or any problem like that. Uh, which can sometimes happen in the mobile uh, native client, but doesn't happen here in Bluestacks 5. So you guys be sure to check out the video description and get your link to support Talking Trek by downloading Bluestacks 5 uh, for Star Trek Fleet Command. The link is in the video description below. And you'll be supporting this channel by using that link to download Bluestacks 5 and download Star Trek Fleet Command on Bluestacks 5. And again, thanking them for sponsoring today's video. Appreciate them very much.
Um, I guess that'll probably about do it. I'm just going to sit here and for another three hours and try to grind out my dailies because that's about how long it takes. I love it. Not very much. It was a, it was a fragmented sentence right there. I love it. Not at all. <laughs> I do love blue stacks. Not loving this spawn rate, but nonetheless, that's where we're at. So wrapping up our dailies and wrapping up our Swarm Sunday as we wait on light traders. Um, but anyway, wanted to uh, to give you guys the video, show off the extended view inside Bluestacks 5, inside the Android client. And of course, reminding you not to forget, even inside Bluestacks, you do still have access to the uh, browser uh, through Chrome and still have access to the multi-phasic store. So that's a good thing as well. I think that's a great thing for everybody to be able to get that bonus loot. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. Click on the thumbs up if you like our video today and uh, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell when you know when we do other content. Don't forget our other game. As a matter of fact, uh, we have got a video, I think, coming out a little bit later uh, this week on Marvel Future Revolution, which we are using Bluestacks 5 for as well. So, uh, and that's only available right now on uh, Bluestacks uh, for PC. It's using the Bluestacks 5 Pi beta, which uh, we've got a link for as well if you want to try to download that and play a little bit of MFR with us as well. Uh, it's a fun game that we've been playing here. So thanks to Bluestacks for bringing it all to us here on our PC. We appreciate that very much. And thank you for sponsoring today's video. My name is Ultimate DJs, your friendly neighborhood cat person saying meow for now. Catch you on the next one. Love you, man, and see you later. Meow. Bye.